Today was supposed to showcase a simple challenge of me painting a family portrait for our living room. But it quickly turned into a day filled with events where I found myself burning a candle at both ends. Welcome back to Day in Life with a Mom of Nine and this is the May Family. Journey with me as I take you through my day of making sense of life and the messes we create. After getting the kids off to school, Kels told me he needed his uniform wash. Baby boy had started back basketball in college and I couldn't be more proud. So of course I'm doing whatever I can on my end to support him. And then I found myself at the Goodwill buying couches. <laughs> Was that? You have a good practice. You're welcome. How <laughs> to drive, y'all? Look at it. <laughs> See how fast they go. Slow down. Mm -hmm. I didn't teach him that. Oh, Anthony! No. Nah. <laughs> Come help me! Couch is there. You get out for Goodwill. What couches? Come look! What are you trying to do? <laughs> Ooh, at the Don't put it in the living room since we need something by that window right there and the other side. But we gonna see. We ain't gonna know nowhere. Yeah, I don't know all right now. I'm about to spray it down. Don't worry about all that. Don't worry about all that. And no, his partner? Stop! You want me to go get DJ? Who's that? <laughs> at the man. Look, look, look at they like, look, 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 this will been our friend for a long time, the big green. He done moved way over here, messing with the outside of the house. <laughs> Out here because I've been having to put it to you. what? Put my holes to what? DJ, you gonna shampoo the new couches? Look, he took the focus off the couches. <laughs> done shampooing we first sprayed down these couches and i shampoo it and then i'm going to treat it because it did have quite a few spider eggs in it. these couches have cloth at the bottom i'm going to remove and check and inspect to make sure there's no bed bugs or any other creatures in there then i'll replace it with a new fabric using my staple gun i have raya because we got a message from our tiktok that there is a pr package in the mail i specifically say yes to this package because i had lariah in mind and it's really something she can benefit from keep an eye out for that video as i'll be uploading it soon now back to this mess i introduced in the beginning of the video the garage was not on my to-do list yet because it's still way too hot in Cali to be in somebody's garage but since I went out being extra doing the most and bought some couches I don't need I must now make room in this messy garage to house these couches until the treatment is complete so here I am in a 98 degree weather knocking on 102 degree weather door in this garage not cleaning but at least trying to make a space for these couches in a walkway because my husband always get caught in the crossfires of messes and subject yourself to a trip or fall. So get your water in, you guys, because we're in for a scorcher. Hi, y'all. What the heck? <laughs> huh? Help? <laughs> Why are you trying to help me? Because I want me. I have nothing to do. Oh, really? I'm just trying to make a room, a space for me to put these couches in. So I'm just cleaning up this area right now. Thank you, though. Why well, you want to help? Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Okay. I'm on. All right. <laughs>
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Get back. In the midst of all that, Titi came out and said she has back to school night. I typically don't go to the high school's back to school night because they make it impossible for parents who have more than one child going to high school. Like how in the world do you expect one parent or even two parents to be able to go to all three children's classes when each child has seven periods spread out across the entire campus, not factoring in an out of shape mama who had nine kids. But since Titi made the effort, got dressed and wanted to go, I figured I'd at least go to all her seven periods, especially since she's a freshman and try to pop my heads in the boys classes. Keep watching so you can see how this turned out. I've been seeing in the comments supporters asking how did I grow my hair. I will say that I don't do much to my hair. I typically just use water and blue magic. But since we've been receiving gifts, I've been giving other products a shot. But I can honestly say these two strand twists has played a huge part in the protection and length retention of my hair. I'm using rubbing alcohol in my ears because I wash my hair in the shower and some of the water got in my ears. Since I had COVID, I've been having issues with my ears with fluid easily getting trapped behind my eardrums and turning into fungus. So to prevent that from happening again, I've gotten in the habit of putting rubbing alcohol in my ears. My hair has been growing super fast these days as well as my nails. So I really wanna keep doing what I've been doing with just embracing my natural and letting my body heal itself. I'm using my Baskin Lather Edge Control just to slick down some of these edges so I don't look so sleepy and tired in the face. Using my Equate Petroleum Jelly just to strengthen my eyebrows because they have a habit of falling out as well as my eyelash. And then some on my lips because these soup coolers be checked. Since using new products on my hair, I've been fearful of my hair drying out because I'm taking my hair journey very seriously. So although I use these products, I also use the ones I know my hair thrive off of. And then I learned if I put my Mori's on the most brittle parts of my hair, like my edges and my ends, it keeps them conditioned and strong almost resistant to drying out. I'm using Anthony's diffuser not only because it helps dry my hair more quickly and keep my hair from shrinking so much but it's cooling me off because I'm hot. Wearing my tennis shoes because I know I'm gonna have to go across this campus in a dress so I can enjoy tonight's breeze. First up is Titi's first period her French class. <laughs> After 14 periods later, we were free and we went to get ice cream. Can you guess my favorite ice cream? TT is trying a new flavor, Sunny Delight tonight. This was his first one, this Sunny Delight. What are you doing over there? Hi there, hi there. Be sure to subscribe as I will be taking you behind the scenes for a closer look at how we navigate our life as a big family of 11 behind the scenes and continue to chip off my 30 day challenge and completing tasks I never got a chance to get to. Until next time, see you in the next vlog. Peace.